BRICS just announced a new global currency designed to replace the dollar. The deputy chairman of Russia's state Duma, Alexander Babakov, told reporters that the BRICS alliance, which stands for Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, is creating a new currency that will be backed by gold, rare earth metals, and other critical commodities. BRICS will likely take up the task of creating this new currency at the next BRICS summit in late August. While there's still a lot of things we don't know about the currency, the announcement alone is a huge development. Since 1945, the US dollar has been the world reserve currency, meaning it acts as the standard currency for all international payments. This means that if Japan wants to trade with Thailand, they wouldn't pay each other using yen or baht, they would use the US dollar. The dollar's monopoly is especially strong in the oil trade, which until recently was exclusively conducted in dollars. What this means is that every country in the world needs a constant supply of dollars on hand to buy oil and other critical goods, and to acquire those dollars, they have to manufacture real goods and sell them to the US or some other country that acquired dollars from the US. The United States, on the other hand, can print dollars, meaning they can essentially go into debt for free. Economist Barry Eichengreen describes it as the following. It costs only a few cents for the Bureau of Engraving and Printing to produce a $100 bill. But other countries have to pony up $100 of actual goods and services in order to obtain one. The other thing is that since the world financial system was set up by the US and relies so heavily on the dollar, the US also has the power to exclude countries from the international financial system. The US controls SWIFT, the international payment system which basically functions as the blood vessels of the world financial system. The US has weaponized SWIFT by banning countries it doesn't like from it like Cuba, Iran, and North Korea. The US also takes advantage of the fact that many countries store their foreign reserves in US banks and dollar denominated assets. The most brazen example of this was after the Russian invasion of Ukraine when the US froze over $600 billion of gold and foreign reserves held in US and EU banks, making Russia unable to pay its foreign debts. So how would a new BRICS currency change this? Well, the US has the power to print money and unilaterally exclude and punish countries because the world relies on the dollar. But if enough countries make the collective decision to abandon the dollar and rally around new currencies that the US doesn't control, the US wouldn't have the power to manipulate the world financial system like it does now. Skeptics often say that no currency will replace the dollar because not enough countries will adopt it. But the five BRICS countries alone represent a whopping 40% of the world's population. Population. If you add the countries that are applying for BRICS membership, it becomes a little under half. If all these countries started demanding BRICS currency in trade instead of the dollar, the rest of the world would likely have to lessen their foreign reserve holdings of US dollars and increase their holdings of the new BRICS currency. Other countries will also probably find the BRICS currency more appealing because it's not controlled by a single country, unlike the dollar. For centuries, the imperialist countries used their military and financial supremacy to siphon off resources and labor out of the rest of the world. Now those countries are banding together and starting their own currency, backed by that same wealth of resources, which will dramatically reduce the value and relevance of Western fiat currencies. While some are going to continue to insist that de-dollarization will never happen, many would argue that it's the current hegemonic position of the dollar that won't last, and that a new financial system that reflects the new multipolar world was always bound to emerge. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. We've been talking a lot about de-dollarization lately, and the thing about de-dollarization is that it's coming, but it's not quite here yet. And that means that here at Breakthrough News, we still need dollars to function, to fund our day-to-day -day operations. We're asking you, you know, if you've ever found a Breakthrough News video insightful, if you've ever learned anything from watching Breakthrough, if you've ever enjoyed one of our videos or shared it, please consider becoming a patron. You can go to our website at BreakthroughNews.org and you'll see the Patreon link. There you can sign up. There's a $25 a month tier which comes out to about 67 cents a day. You can also do the $5 a month tier which comes out to 16 cents a day. But the different tiers will get you different things and there is content that is exclusive to our Patreon subscribers. So if you've ever enjoyed Breakthrough, if you feel like supporting us, we don't get corporate funding. We don't get funding from anyone but people like you. So if you could, you know, just throw us a few bucks a month, it would go a long way.